Hotep scholars, and welcome back to STEM for second grade. The goal for today's lesson is that you're able to demonstrate understanding of both reversible and irreversible transformations of matter. We've been talking all about matter. We talked about two properties used to describe matter, color and texture. Then we went on to discuss the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Finally, at the end of last class, we did an experiment where we transformed matter from one state to the next using temperature. In our experiment, we took three plastic bags. We put one of them, we put air in. The second, we put liquid in. And the third, we added a solid. We put all three bags in the freezer. After leaving your bags in the freezer overnight, what was your end result? Did the air transform from a gas to a solid? Did your solid transform from a solid to a liquid? And finally, did your liquid go from being a liquid to a solid? These types of transformations are called reversible transformations. This is when you can take matter in one state, transform it into a next, and then back into its original state. For example, if you took your bag of water, put it in the freezer overnight, what you should have observed was the next day your bag of water turned into ice. Now let's take a moment and think about how we can get our ice back into its original state. How can we get a solid, which is water, now ice, back into a liquid, which would be the water? What would we have to do? If you answered let the ice melt, you're correct. This type of transformation is called a reversible transformation because you can allow your matter to go from a liquid to a solid and then back to a liquid. Now, let's take a look at another experiment where we won't be able to reverse our transformation. In this next experiment, we're going to mix a liquid with a solid and turn it into a gas. Hotep scholars, we are back in the lab and ready to do our next lab experiment. Last class, we learned about the three states of matter. We said the three states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. We also did an experiment. In our experiment, we took liquid, which was water, poured it into a bag, put it in the freezer, and we used temperature to change the state of matter. We went from a liquid to a gas. For today's experiment, we're going to change matter from a solid into a gas using a liquid. So for today's experiment, all you need is baking soda, lemon juice, an empty bottle, and a balloon. So I'm gonna take my empty water bottle, pour in some lemon juice, Then I will take the baking soda, sprinkle it in, all right, and next I'm going to put on my balloon. Shake it up 
and you'll notice that the mixture of the solid, which was the baking soda, and the liquid, which was the lemon juice, caused a chemical reaction that created a gas. And we can tell that there's a gas because our balloon is now inflated. So, what I want you to do is get with your parents, get their permission, have them help you. Try this experiment at home and record your results in your launch log. All right, have a good day, scholars. I'll see you next time.